Hey y'all, welcome back to the Lips React channel. I'm Lips and today we are watching season three, episode five of Game of Thrones titled Kissed by Fire. I'm listening. Are we gonna get some kisses by fire? Or is someone gonna burn? Maybe a little of both. Let's hope. Or not. Depends on who's getting burned and depends on who's getting kissed. Either way, I'm so happy that you are here. If you want to watch the full length reaction, hop on into Patreon. That's where you can get into the full length reaction mode. Otherwise, grab a drink, grab a blanket, grab a snack, whatever you need to enjoy your time, and I'll see you in the show. Cast your light upon us. Lord of Light, defend us. Oh, nope. Okay, Lord of Light, fight right away. <sighs> the night is dark. I kind of want the Lord of Light to be real and do, like, intervene here. Otherwise, I mean, oh! I'm pretty sure that's exactly that. Yep, I was looking for something like that. Okay. He did that with his the blood of his hand? The hound is terrified. Hey, kiss by fire. Oh, shit. They've already marked him guilty. Arya. Oh my God. Lord, cast your light upon this man, your servant. Bring him back from death and darkness. His flame has been extinguished for stories. <sighs> Lord, Arya, don't. Oh shit. The god likes me more than your butcher's boy. Burn in hell! He will. Excuse me? But not today. Excuse me? Okay. It's fine. There are 19 castles guarding the wall. How many are manned? Three. Mm. You sure of that? Castle Black. East Watch by the Sea. And the Shadow Tower. How many men remain in Castle Black? A thousand. Mm. Liar. What happens to your eagle after I kill you? Oh. He's no crow. Just because you want him inside, you don't make him one of us. Whoa. Okay. Well, it seems you owe me a debt. We want it. Come steal it back. Egret! Egret! Oh. She is playing with him. Is our all right? You still a crow? Ooh. Time you proved yourself. <gasps> Swore some vows. To not be with a woman. We shouldn't, or you won't. I don't know, those ties might be... That thing you did, with your mouth. Is that what lords do to their ladies in the south? Oh! I told you that. There's been no one else, only you. I was a man of the Night's Watch. Was. How about you? You were made. What do you think? He had red hair like me. Kissed by fire. Then there was this then boy. <clears throat> Spoke no common book. God. 
He was built like a mammoth. Yeah, thing. thanks. Uh... <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't ever want to leave this cave, Jon Snow. Not ever. She loves him. Lord Bolton, I give you the Kingslayer. Oh, lost a hand. No, my lord, he has it here. Take this away, send it to his father. You'll hold your tongue unless you want to lose it. Find suitable rooms for our guests. We'll speak later. Hmm. Rooms. That's that word from the capital. Stannis Baratheon laid siege to King's Landing. And your sister is alive and well. You're he is playing games. Sir Jamie isn't well. Take him to Kyburn. He just toyed with his mentals. The corruption has spread. I fear it must be cut away. The safest course would be to take the whole up. <laughs> Hello, Maester. What's your chain? They found some of my experiments too bold. Hmm. Barbara, I'll make the cuts at your end. <gasps> I don't need my right hand to kill you. Okay, Jamie. And try and burn out the corruption with boiling wine. <laughs> boiling wine. He's afraid of it. Oh, God. Could I add the milk? Oh, it's fine. I have reason to believe that House Tyrell do not hold the Crown's best interests at heart. I see. And have you shared these suspicions with Lord Tywin? My father's a practical man. He appreciates facts. He's almost as generous to those who help us as he is unpleasant towards those who don't. You have a good work. Okay, she's coming in so hot today. I shall do my best. Thank you. And your best will prove better than when I asked you to locate Arya Stark. Oh, but he knows. Interesting that he never shared that information. I had hoped we might discuss a few financial matters. I climbed all those steps to discuss financial matters. <laughs> it's shaping up to be a very involved affair. The word extravagant has been used. What good is the word extravagant if it can't be used to describe a royal wedding? And I respect that. It falls upon me to calculate the cost for the crown. And then they are very in debt. And? And we're at war, Lady Olena. Oh, I nearly forgot. Yes, and maintaining. <laughs> what is it? 12,000 infantrymen the Tyrell family has supplied? Oh, oh, shiz. Some provisions so this city might survive the winter. A million bushels of wheat, half a million bushels each of barley, oats, and rye. She plays the game. You don't have to lecture me about wartime expenses. I'm quite familiar with it. They have also given a lot. Wow, seriously, we'll not win this fight. I was told you were drunk, impertinent, and thoroughly debauched. You can imagine my disappointment at finding nothing but a browbeaten bookkeeper. Ouch. We'll pay for half the expenses, and the celebrations will go on as planned. She is efficient, I'll say. I'm going to stay on in Smith for the Brotherhood. <gasps> um, the Lannisters find this place, you think they'll spare the Smiths? They'll cave your head in with your own hammer. The Lannisters wanted to kill me long before I joined the Brotherhood. You don't have to do this. I want to. He wants to. Rob these good men too. Aww. We're leaving tomorrow. And then you what? Oh, now Arya's all alone. Look, I've served men my entire life. I'm done serving. You just said you were serving Lord Beric. He may be their leader, but they chose him. It's different. It's... I've never had a family. Oh. I can be your family. Arya. You wouldn't be my family. You'd be my lady. Oh my god, 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 oh
It took five of you to murder two unarmed squires. Not murder, your grace. Vengeance. Vengeance is a dirty word. They were boys! Tell your mother to look at them. She killed them as much as I. This was your treason. It's treason to free your enemies. Did your father not teach her that boy? Oh! He wants to give me a scolding before he sets me free. I don't think he's being set free. Ah, the king in the north. <gasps> or should I call him the king who lost the north? Fighting words. Uh oh. This is a defining moment. Escort Lord cast out to the dungeon. Hang the rest. <gasps> I didn't kill anyone. I only watched for the guards. Hang him last so he can watch the others die. She doesn't like that. We're Tywin Lannister's nephews. The Lannisters pay their debts. I'm not fighting for justice if I don't serve justice to murderers in my ranks, no matter how highborn. What about your mother? The cast dogs are Northmen. They won't forgive the killing of their lord. Your mother's right. You brought them suffer. Now they're dead. And more boys will keep dying until this war is over. You need Karstark men to end it. Tell the Karstarks that as long as they remain loyal, you will not be harmed. Leverage. I fought the Mad King for your father. I fought Joffrey for you. We are kin. That didn't stop you from betraying me. I wanted to hold you to the end of your day. Oh. Kneel, my lord. Is he? Killing him? Oh my god. I okay, he didn't take anyone's advice. Kill me and be cursed. You are no king of mine. The first light will ride for River Run. Your brother's there now. He'll make a contribution to our cause, and you can go home. I thought he killed you. He did. Thoros? God of the light or whatever. It's the Lord of Light brings you back. How many times? How many times? Five, I think. No, this makes six. Six. It was the first time. The mountain. I'm scared of the Lord of Light. Then, I was stabbed in the belly. Then it was an arrow in the back. And that axe in the side. Oof. The Lannisters caught me and executed me for treason. Was it a hanging or a dagger in the eye? Both. Fuckers couldn't decide. And the hell makes six. Every time I come back, I'm a bit less. Mm. Pieces of you get chipped away. Left behind. You bring back a man without a head. Not six times. Just once. I don't think it works that way, child. He was a good man. Ned Stark. That makes it worse somehow. I would never wish my life upon him. I would. Arya. You're alive. I have prayed day and night for you to come to me. The battle. I know of your troubles, my king. The Lady Melisandre has told me everything. You will be victorious. I believe that once. Silly's. Who? I've broken a sacred vow. Serious. I have shamed you. You're doing God's work. Don't understand. The Lady Melisandre. I know, Stannis. Oh. Melisandre has told me everything. No act done in service of the Lord of Light can ever be a sin. Oh, she's fully in. I wept with joy. Oh. She keeps her stillborns? Peter, Mama, Edric. Oh. She gave you a son. I gave you nothing. That's not true. That's sad. You must keep away from such distractions. She's my daughter. I want to see her. He has a... Mm. Uh, uh, uh. Father! 
Oh, sweet girl. Did the Onion Knight come back with you? Sir Davos is a traitor. He's rotting in a dungeon cell for his crime. Oh. Best forget him. <laughs> she loved him. Not so hard. We'll scrub the skin off. What are you doing here? Need a bath. She is being really aggressive, though. She wants something cleaned off of her that I don't think you can clean. Don't worry. I'm not interested. <sighs> yeah, you love your sister. You swore a solemn vow, remember? You're supposed to get me to King's Landing in one piece. Well, she, you are missing a hand. So I guess she already failed. You got it. Rude. I was unworthy. Forgive me. You protected me better than most. Don't you mock me. I'm apologizing. That's the call of truth. You need trust to have a truth. <laughs> I trust you. He does, I think. There it is. That's the look. You all despise me. You're very despisable, to be fair. Man without honor. You heard of wildfire. The Mad King was obsessed with it. He loved to watch people burn. The way their skin blackened, blistered, and melted off their bones. Yikes. Arrows of traitors everywhere. <laughs> so he had his pyromancer place caches of wildfire all over the city. Robert Baratheon marched from the capital after his victory at the Trident. But my father ran first, promising. To defend the city against the rebels. I knew my father better than that. It's never been one to pick the losing side. I told the Mad King as much. I urged him to surrender peacefully. But the king didn't listen to me. Mm. But he did listen to Grand Maester Pycelle. We already know he's a little sneaky. We opened the gates and my father sacked the city. Once again I came to the king. Backing him to surrender. He told me to bring him my father's head. Oh. Turned to his pyromancer. Found them in their homes, found them in their beds. Oh my god. If your precious Randy commanded you to kill your own father and stand by while thousands of men, women, and children burned alive, would you have kept no. your oath then? No. When the king turned to flee, I drove my sword into his back. Found them all, he kept saying. I don't think he expected to die. He, he meant to burn with the rest of us and rise again. Oh. Born as a dragon, turn his enemies to ash. Well. Get his throat to make sure that didn't happen. That's where Ned Stark found me. Why didn't you tell anyone? Think the honorable Ned Stark wanted to hear my side. Yeah, I bet he did actually. Killed you the moment he set eyes on me. Uh, maybe I hold Ned Stark too highly, but I don't know. Judge the lion. Oh. But what right? Oh, oh, the Kingslayer! My name's Jamie. Go back to your room. You're not supposed to be here. If your father knew... You're a traitor. Hmm. I am, child. I don't care. You're my friend. No. I brought you something to read. It's about Egon and his dragons. Hmm. Thank you, my lady. I'm sure it's a fine book. But it's wasted on me. Oh. My lady, I can't read the words. I'll teach you. Oh, sweet girl. Holy hell! Danny! Robin would have laughed. He's a good man, a great warrior, and a terrible king. Just once in my life before it's over. I want to know what it's like to serve with pride. To fight for someone I believe in. Oof. 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 Gente jeve jerele e drebletas cogrondo jevo hedre. Ooh. They have. Scorosso Jevi Brosa. Torco Nudo. All unsolid boys are giving you names when they are cut. Oh. Names that remind them what they are. 
She's gonna give him an yeah. They're not vermin though to her. Gat baga ohe gregogas, avi hoskas lwe broze vestletas. Torko nudo hokas pezi, same broji beri. Hmm. Itorko nudo saji broji es pezi eji tovi. Deneris jermazmo, si teptas si derve. That was kind of beautiful. And Robert wanted a dead. Of course he wanted a dead. Wow, that shook her up a little bit. I suppose no one on the small council could speak sense to him. I didn't sit on the small council. I killed a dozen of Robert's friends during his rebellion. I didn't want advice on how to govern from a man who fought for the Mad King. So that's the thing. People call Jamie this Kingslayer, right? But everyone truly seemed to hate the Mad King. The reputation of Westeros has suffered over the years. I sold men into slavery. I don't know if your presence by her side will help our cause when we go home. You only joined us a few days ago. I can't speak to your intentions. We will do whatever needs to be done, no matter the cost, no matter our pride. You're not Lord Commander here. No, You're just another exile. No matter our pride. I take my orders from the Queen. My guy, my guy, my guy, my guy. He's got a point. His name is Sullied. I don't know. You were right. The Karstarks are gone. Almost half our forces. We could ride north. When I gathered my lords together, we had a purpose, a mission. Now we're like a band of bickering children. Gotta get Give reunite them. New purpose. Mm -hmm. new purpose. We're here, King's Landing. Oh. What is it? Oh, that worked. What worked? What? 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 Share. And I can't attack them where they're strongest, but I can attack them where they're not. Mm. And Castle Rock can't run away. I need men to replace the Karstarks who marched home. The man whose daughter I was supposed to marry. Oh! Old Frey. Oh! Um... And how are you gonna... Mm -hmm. And how are we gonna fix that? Joffrey won't let me leave. He's got too many reasons to keep me here. And only one to let you go. Because it will please me. Hmm. I should like to see you spar with a proper partner, sir. <laughs> And, and spar with a proper partner, indeed. Well, how do you know I'm to be married soon? And even my intended hasn't the slightest notion. <laughs> that didn't take long. Well, I took long enough. <gasps> Used to be wed. Is he? A spy. She may not be the grandest chip in the world, but she's mine. Of course, little finger. It doesn't matter what we want. Once we get it, then we want something else. Your hair, it's different. Lady Marjorie wears it that way. Many. Mm. You want to go home, don't you? Of course, more than anything. But she has new hope for romance, doesn't she? I've been thinking how dangerous it would be. Not just for me, but for you. Sure. I hope you know that I'm your friend, Sansa. I do, Lord Baelish. Peter. Peter. Mm -hmm. I've saved the crown hundreds of thousands on this wedding. Never mind that now. We have something important to discuss. Mm. Your sister has learned that your new friends, the Tyrells, are plotting to marry Sansa Stark to Sir Loras. Oh. They bring them into the royal fold, and this is how they repay me, by trying to steal the key to the north out of... <laughs> I seem to remember she has an older brother. The Starks have marched home. The young wolf has lost half his army. His days are numbered. That makes Sansa Stark the heir to Winterfell. And she is still a pawn in Tywin's game. We need to act first and kill this union in its crib. We find Sansa Stark a different husband. Shit. Yes, it is. Who? Him? Tyrion? The girl's happiness is not my concern, nor should it be yours. She's a child! She's flowered, I assure you. She and I have discussed it at length. There, you see? You will wed her, bed her, and put a child in her. Oh, my God! That meant if I refuse, you wanted to be rewarded for your valor in battle. Oh, my God. And it is past time you were wed. I was wed. Don't you remember? Mm. Only too well. This is more than you deserve. Tyrion will do as he's bid. He will, will you. almost always do. Oh! What do you mean? He will marry Sir Loras. Oh! 
I will not. The boy is heir to High Garden. Tyrion will secure the North. You will secure the Reach. Oh my God. You will. We're still fertile. You need to marry again and breed. Oh my God. Rude man. You're my daughter. <laughs> you will do as I command, and you will marry Loras Tyrell. Oh, how the turntables turn! Father, don't make me do it again, please. Not another word. My children. <gasps> Ew! Why did he say that with such this? For far too long. He hates all of his children, I think. Shut. At least, at least not just here, Ian. I like a little equality there. Okay, the first thing that I want to say is there's this interesting thing that I never really... It's interesting we finally heard the story of Jaime killing um, the Targaryen, the Mad King. Because obviously they call him the Kingslayer, which has a negative connotation. But then they call the Mad King the Mad King, which also has a negative connotation. So it's kind of interesting that there's this like neg double negative there that doesn't... I've never really thought about until Jamie was telling his story. And like you can feel this pain he has for why like being called the the kingslayer and probably a lot of things that dominoed out of that but he still has so much respect and so much power that it almost takes away from that a little bit like i think it weighs very heavily on him um and and that was portrayed really really well in today's episode but in the grand scheme of things they call him the King Slayer and whatnot, but it just doesn't seem that that holds that much air when other people say it. And maybe I'm just kind of glossing over things. I mean, I, I think Jamie Lannister's entire personality gives enough reason for people to feel any type of way about him that's not positive, not just for King Slaying, you know, not just for being the King Slayer. So. It was interesting to hear that story, and his his friendship with Brienne is quite interesting. And we're seeing a lot of the 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 pieces of playing together, right? Um, the the pieces of playing the game with the marriages, marriages especially. It's such an interesting seeing the marriages as like this stepping this like power up level up like gaining more power combining the wealth combining more wealth and power in this in almost like a it not almost but in this manner of politically tipping the scales in one's favor that end part with tywin was fascinating because tywin we know tywin feels we know that the entire lannister family feels a certain way about Tyrion, right but to see him kind of look at his own daughter and say, you will do what I say and you will follow this and you will marry again. And, it, you know, I. It's nice. I feel bad to some extent, right? Because obviously I have hope for Sansa and now she has three different people eyeing her for marriage. Um, at least kind of in one way or another, right? Some of them being pulled in different directions, whatnot. But I care about her deeply. But it is always so interesting to see how hypocritical Cersei is because it's like she's willing to hold on to Sansa for the political power, but like then to lose her own daughter, which is also like a political move she was distraught by and then like to marry off her brother to marry off her son in a way that helps her politically is good but then to when it when it no longer when she sees herself losing the power there she doesn't want it and then you know she, she does all of this to admit to she she kind of makes the pivot happen so that joffrey can't marry into the tyrell family or the tyrells can't marry joffrey whatever but then now look who's stuck marrying a Tyrell. And it'll be interesting to see how it all plays out and all comes together. Yeah, so lots of different interesting little pieces coming together and people kind of 
trying to checkmate each other. Now, Rob has made some interesting decisions, and I don't know. Hmm. I wonder, uh, Rob would be, or Ned would be proud of Rob very deeply, I think, but I wonder with like the killing of the Karstarks, how Ned would have handled that, or killing the, the Lord Karstark. I wonder how Ned would have handled that. Um, now, the one thing that I can say for Rob there is that at least he did it himself, right? He stands by it, but he did lose the Karstarks. And it is a little, like, hypocritical, right, to maybe hold people who aren't his mother to a certain degree, a certain standard, while Lady Stark's decision, while I fully understand it, while her decision to let Jamie Stark go or for Brienne to take Jamie Stark and try to bring him to King's Landing, that decision was treason as well and isn't being treated as treason um he's sure he's he's changed how he talks to his mother and how he brings his mother into things but still like he's giving her the mother benefit you know he was a king that i stood behind so heavily when he first called himself king and now i do i do find myself second guessing him um he's made some interesting decisions and i think the marriage one I think marrying the person he wanted to marry while I I want him to be happy, now he needs to go back and ask for help from the family that he's already kind of betrayed here. So that will be interesting to see how how that goes down. It will all be very interesting. So they, we're just halfway through the season. We've got five more episodes to go. So if you want to watch full-length reactions, Patreon is a place to do that. Otherwise, while I have your attention, don't forget to hit like and subscribe here on this video, and I'll see you in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one.